and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, I will be comparing the original TGIN products to the newly released Miracle Repair RX line. So what's the big difference? Which one is better? For those of you who may be wondering how these products compare to each other, or if the new line is better than the original, then this video is for you. So here I have some of the products from the original TGIN line, and I also have some of the products from the Miracle Repair RX line. Aside from the fact that I only have a sample of the Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo from the original TGIN line, and the fact that the tops on both leave-in conditioners in both lines are a little different, the packaging is pretty much the same. The bottles and the jars pretty much look the same. So for this video, I'll be comparing both of the shampoos from both lines, the hair mask, the leave-in conditioners, and the daily moisturizers. And just to give a quick refresher of the claims of each of the products, starting with the claims of both of the shampoos from the original TGIN line and the Miracle Repair RX line, both of these products claims to cleanse, leave your hair soft and smooth, reduce breakage, increase moisture, smooths your hair cuticles, and moisturizes your hair. The additional benefits of the Miracle Repair RX shampoo is that it heals damage, gives your hair shine and bouncy curls, and reduces breakage and repairs damage. The product claims for both of the hair masks state that they restore dry, damaged, and color-treated hair, improve shine and manageability, locks in moisture, repairs damage, and reduces shedding and breakage. The additional benefit of the Honey Miracle Mask is that it controls frizz and conditions your hair. For both of the leave-in conditioners, both of these products claim they promote hair growth, leaves your hair soft, shiny, and manageable, detangles your hair, reduces frizz, and replenishes your hair's natural oils. The additional benefit that you get from the Miracle Repair RX Leave-In Conditioner is that it penetrates your hair's cuticles, adds definition, and is lightweight. And lastly, we have our daily moisturizing creams, the butter cream and the curl food. The claims of these products state that they're hydrating, promotes hair growth, improves shine, softness, reduces frizz, and they're both made for styling. The only additional benefit that the curl food states is that it restores nutrients in your hair. So I've already did a product review on both of these lines and you can click the cards above in the link or you can look in the description box and just click the links there. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this video so that way I can see if there's a big significant difference between the original line and the new line. So I'm gonna section my hair off in two parts. I'm gonna test the original on one side against the new line on the other side. And just to give you my overall thoughts if one is better than the other and how my hair feels overall. So without further ado, let's get started. products these two shampoos so for the original shampoo compared to the miracle rx moisturizing shampoo the only thing that i found different between these two really is just the ingredients one has black honey with coconut oil and this one has almond oil with coconut oil for the original version so no real significant difference to be quite honest other than the ingredients being different. There was really no other difference. Um, just a slight difference with the consistency of the products. So for the original moisturizing shampoo, this one was a little bit more runnier, a little bit more looser in the consistency. And the Miracle RX line uh, shampoo, this one was just a little bit thicker. As far as the smell goes, let me see. Okay, they do smell different. The Miracle RX smells a little bit sweeter. I guess that's the honey. And the original moisturizing uh, shampoo, this one, I'm not really sure what it smells like, but it doesn't have a, a sweet fragrance to it. I guess that's more of the Amla, I guess. I don't, I'm not really sure what Amla smells like. So they do smell a little bit different, but I do get the same results just overall. Both of these products are moisturizing, they're conditioning, um, my hair feels very soft. Upon contact of these products, the lather was very rich. 
I think a little bit more richer because the product is thicker with the Miracle RX line compared to the original moisturizing shampoo. So both of these products are really great. Um, slip, both have really great slip. Uh, you can easily detangle with your fingers with these two shampoos. Uh, very penetrating, very hydrating, very moisturizing as the product claims. So other than that, there's really no significant difference. The bottles, I didn't, of course, I don't have the original bottle for the original moisturizing shampoo, but the bottles are the same. The packaging is the same. So one was not more moisturizing than the other. They both felt the same to me. The only thing different, like I said, was just the, the richness of the lather. The Miracle RX line just seemed to lather a little bit thicker than the original shampoo. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So now we're going to move on to the mask and we are going to compare the Honey Miracle Mask to the Miracle RX Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. We're going to compare them side by side just to see if there is a major significant difference between these two products. So that's coming up next. these masks. On the left hand side I use the Honey Miracle Mask and on the right hand side I use the Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. So the first thing that I noticed is the color of these two products. I don't know if you can see it well. The color of these two products are, one's trying to run out, um, are pretty much the same. It's got a light yellow tint to the both of them. I also noticed the difference with the scent of both of these products. So the Honey Miracle Mask has a more of a sweeter honey-like smell to it. And the Deep Hydrating Hair Mask from the Miracle RX line doesn't really have much of a smell to it, believe it or not. Unlike the shampoo, the shampoo has a little bit of a sweeter fragrance, but not so much the mask. Um, as far as the consistency goes, they're pretty much the same. They both have this slow, runny consistency. I'm trying to see if one may be a little bit smoother than the other, but they look almost identical. I can tell that when I applied the Honey Miracle Mask to my hair, it felt a little bit thicker on the left side and it felt like for whatever reason it was sitting on my hair and it didn't really feel like it was absorbed. I don't know why it feels different now than when I first tried this product for the first time. The Miracle uh, RX Deep Hydrating Hair Mask is a little bit lighter in the consistency when I applied it to my hair. It felt like it glided through my hair a little better. I could easily detangle with this. It felt like it had more penetration on the right hand side than with the Honey Miracle Mask. This one seemed to absorb a little bit better. I guess because it's a little bit lighter in consistency compared to the Honey Miracle Mask. So not, again, not a huge difference between these two products. I don't know why, but um, other than the ingredients and just a slight difference of the consistency and a difference of the scent, Again, that's the only difference that I can that I can see. Um, I'm gonna let both these products sit in my hair, but I got a feeling I'm gonna get the exact same results. I, I feel like they're gonna both feel the same. Soft, hydrated, moisturized. Um, I don't think there's gonna be a big difference. But that's all that I found. The slip on the both of these products, pretty decent slip. The Miracle um, RX was a little bit better in the slip than the Honey Miracle Mask, and it did seem to leave my hair a little bit softer in texture compared to the uh, left hand side with the Honey Miracle Mask. So again, not a huge significant difference between these products. The jars are even the same. Um, the weight, both 12 ounces. I just can't see where one stands out more than the other. So both of these products, um, without heat, you have to leave it on your hair from anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour both of these so even the time that you leave on your hair is the same i'm going to come back and with this wash out of my hair both of these products and just describe how my hair feels so i'll see you in a little while 
Um, my hair still feels very soft. Both sides feels hydrated, moisturized. Very, very soft. No difference. One side doesn't feel any different than the other side. Both the same. No significant difference, once again. So the only difference I can see as far as the ingredients, one has coconut oil and one has olive oil in it. So now we're going to move on to the leave-in conditioners. So on the right hand side, this is the Miracle Repair RX. This one has a little bit of a thicker consistency. It's just kind of staying in one place. And the Green Tea Super Moist, this one has a little bit more of a runny consistency. So on the left hand side, I'm going to be using the original leave-in conditioner from TGIN, which is the Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. This one has the green tea and the argan oil. And from the Miracle RX Protective Leave-In Conditioner, this one has black honey and coconut oil. So again, difference of ingredients. So we're going to see how these bad boys feel. Here we go. So starting on the left side with the original TGIN product. So just a little bit of that. And we're checking for how well the product absorbs and penetrates my hair. We're checking to see if the product sits on my hair, if it's lightweight. <clears throat> it's very softening. The original one, it, it is absorbing into my hair really well. I don't see the product sitting on my hair. I can easily get my fingers through with this product for detangling as well. It's very softening. I don't really see any product or residue on my hair and I'm working it through just to make sure I have it in really well. Yeah, no residue. So it absorbs into my hair really, really well. Now for the Miracle RX Protective Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, so I'm applying this on the right side. This one definitely feels very moisturizing. It actually feels a little bit more moisturizing and, and as though it also has a little bit more slip than the green tea one. Smells really good. Yeah, and this one, the protective leave-in conditioner, it definitely feels more absorbent, more penetrating, very lightweight. It feels a little bit more lightweight and more absorbent than the green tea super moist leave-in conditioner. Yeah, I feel like I, this one just seems just to glide and absorb into my hair really well. No residue. So I'm really liking the protective leave-in conditioner. This one actually feels a lot better than the green tea super moist. This is the one I have to really work into my hair or else it's going to leave a white residue. So the last products I'm going to compare will be the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. And for the Miracle Repair RX, the Curl Food, which is also a daily moisturizer. And as you can see, once again, the jars are the same. Uh, both are 12 ounce jars. So let's open these up. So the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer has shea butter and vitamin E. And the Miracle Repair RX has black honey and coconut oil. So once again, a difference of the ingredients. The buttercream has the same consistency as the um, honey, the honey miracle mask, as well as the mask with the miracle RX. So same smooth consistency. So the consistency with the curl food is a lot thicker in consistency. There's no run to it at all, but there are little beads in there that are infused with herbs, and the regular buttercream does not have that. Here's a close-up of the buttercream. It's a much smoother texture, smoother consistency. So we're going to check to see if there's any buildup, if there's any residue. I can already see residue. 
So I have to really work this product into my hair really well to ensure that the residue was worked into my hair. So I've got that worked in there, nice and shiny, nice shine there. Hair still feels very soft. My hair does feel moisturized. All right, so I'm just gonna pin this side up. So this is the curl food. And as you can see, a much thicker, heavier consistency. It's not a thin, so it's pretty heavy. It smells good, but it doesn't smell as good as the buttercream daily moisturizer. Yeah, it definitely doesn't smell better than the buttercream. The buttercream definitely smells better than the um, curl food. All right, so just gonna work it through. All right, so far, feels really good. My hair is feeling, it's absorbing into my hair really good, as well as the last product. But I think, I don't know, the curl food seems to maybe absorb in my hair a little bit better and a little bit faster, or maybe because I'm just working the product in fast, but it just seems like this product is, is absorbing into my hair a little bit better and faster than the um, buttercream. But it makes my hair feel the same. Moisturized is the product claim, and no residue. No residue that I'm seeing. It did absorb really well into my hair. Now with the curl food, you can use this product to do a twist, a twist out, flat twist. Okay, so the curl food is worked in as well as, as it can be worked in and it feels the same. I mean, I think it's just the initial application of the products or so some of these products that I may feel a difference, but overall I get the same results. My hair feels the same. One side of my hair doesn't feel any better or worse than the other side. It's almost like these products are identical, but just a difference of ingredients is what I'm, I'm just learning here. And this is just my opinion. I'm sure everybody, you know, based on their experience will have their own opinion, but from what I can tell, these products, the original TGI N line and the Miracle RX line are almost the same. They are just, just almost the same, almost identical. Just a difference of some ingredients. So now I'm going to twist it up and I will be right back. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. The purpose of this video was just to once again compare the original TGIM products to the new line that they just released, which is the Miracle Repair RX line, and just to give you my honest thoughts and opinions. So for those that may be uh, debating on which product to get, should they get this product over the other product, I hope this does shed some light on it where you can make the best choice. But again, it just comes down to your hair texture, your hair porosity, and just what your hair likes. So definitely give these products a try. Again, TGIN is definitely a really great brand. Um, all of the products are great products. I mean, there was no complaints with the products at all, but I just noticed just a couple uh, differences in the, um, the lines. But for the most part, not a real big significant difference. Like I said, on each of the, pretty much each of these products, there's no significant difference um, with these products, to be quite honest. But at the end of the day, they give my hair great results. No matter if I use the original line or the new line, I still get really great results afterwards. So I have my hair just twisted up. I just did a flat twist um, at the top and I just did two big flat twists in the back. So I'm just gonna let this air dry and then I'll take it down sometime tomorrow once it's nice and dry. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.